Welcome back guys. Happy Friday. Alright, I'm going to try to make this video really quick for you guys. I've been frustrated because I've spent a lot of time in game trying to fast forward, trying to get weather so I can plow. And I was thinking, man, wouldn't it be nice if I could just like snap my fingers and have snow that I can plow? I found a way out to do it. Let's do it. Alright, I am going to get out of here. And we are going to go make some changes actually inside of Steam, not inside of the game. So, when you pull up Steam, right click Farming Simulator 22, go to Properties. Down under here under lock, Launch Options, do a, um, a dash, cheats, space, dash, skip, start with a capital S, videos with a capital S, this was actually left in the comment on my last video, the skip start videos one, um, which was actually really funny because I was getting ready to do this today. So thank you Ali for putting that in the comments. Um, and that will turn the introduction video off every time you go in. So there's one other thing we need to do. We need to go into local files, browse, go down to the game XML. You either need to edit with Notepad or Notepad++. I always recommend Notepad++. And then down here in controls under development, we need to change the false to true. And this is going to enable the developer command console for us. Okay, so that's all the changes we need to do in Steam very quick. Gonna hit play. It's gonna give us this warning, the file game XML in the program path is newer, click yes. Okay, gonna launch into my game here. All right, so the button we need to open the command console is gonna be the tilde button. Uh, I know there's a couple different names for it, but basically it's the number, or I'm sorry, the button above the tab sign and to the left of the number one button. So I'm just gonna walk out here real quick. Let's hop back to my plow truck. All right, I don't need the map right now. So I'm gonna hit the tilde. You're gonna see the screen. You need to hit the tilde again to get the pound sign. The pound sign is what enables you to type inside the command window, otherwise it will not work. And I'm gonna type GS for game settings. And this all has to be one word and the letters have to be capitalized perfectly in order for it to work. So what I'm going to type is capital S for snow, capital, oops, too many S's. Snow, capital A, add, space, this requires number of stages. I always suggest doing five, hit enter, new height is 0.31, whatever. It's gonna take a minute. Here it comes. Boom. We got snow to plow. We are on our way. How cool is that? So much better than wasting time in game trying to figure it out. Okay. So I wanna talk about a few other quick commands here. Um, one of them actually just happened a little bit. The weather has to be able to support snow. It's 25 degrees, I'm actually surprised it bounced out that quick. Um, but if you're doing this in the middle of August when it's 97 degrees, the snow is gonna instantly disappear. And I suggest doing it on a low speed setting like 1.52, because it might disappear. But you decide you are done with the snow, go back in, and we're gonna do GS, capital S for snow, capital R for reset, enter. And the snow is gone, for the most part. Okay, there's a couple other commands I wanna show you really quickly. I will leave a link in the description below for a list of all the different commands available. And the other one I want to thing I want to show you real quick is when you have the pound sign open, you can use tab to start cycling through all the different commands available. At the same time, you can use shift and tab just like in a vehicle to cycle to go backwards and see the ones you just passed. Okay. And you can also use the number up sign arrow 
to go back to the commands you've already used. All right, so a couple different commands here real quick. I'm just gonna show you a couple. GS player flight mode, hit enter. It's gonna tell you that it's enabled by hitting J. So if I get out of this, hit J, I can use, oops, I forgot I can't do it when I'm in a vehicle. All right, J, Q. So I can now fly using the W, A, S, D, and the E and Q for elevation. Great way to figure out if you wanna actually play on a map before you start driving around aimlessly and wasting time. So that's a good one. Another one I use quite a bit um, is, you know, we're down at, you know, the center of the map. Say I need to go down to field 58 in the bottom left. I can do G, S, teleport, space, field 58. I'm at field 58. Okay, so also with um, plowing snow and stuff, especially with the uh, snow blowers, you need to actually own all the land in order to be able to do all of it. Like you can only do on ant land that you own. So GS farmland by all, boom, you saw all the numbers on the HUD change to blue because I now own them. At the same time, decide you don't wanna do that anymore. You can do farmland sell all and they're all gone. Um, this one I have a feeling is going to be pretty popular. GS money add. If you do that, you instantly get $10 million. I'm going to hit the number up. You can actually add a space because you can accept a value. And if I just wanted to do $6, I just got $6. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to my harvester real quick because that will better demonstrate this one. So I use this one a lot, especially when harvesting, because sometimes if you're using any cab view, like you guys know I like to do, sometimes it's hard to see the edge of your header. So tilde, oops, didn't want to do that. And I'm going to type GS camera FOV set space number value 60 degrees. This is what it's like at 60 degrees, same thing. Number sign up, I'm gonna change it to 90. Boom, I can see the edges of my header. That's a great way to be able to change stuff in game without having to go back into the main menu settings. There's two more I'm gonna show you real quick. HUD visibility, the HUD is gone. Same thing, I can number up, hit enter, it's back. And the last one is the only one that's not a GS for game setting started one, and that is just show FPS. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Show FPS is a true false value. So if I hit space, go to true, FPS comes up, hit the number sign, delete, go back to false, enter, there. Okay, want to keep that a short video. Like I said, I will leave the Link in the description below for all the console list commands. Again, you can use tab and shift and tab to go through the commands to find them individually. I prefer to write them down, but those are my most popularly used ones. Quick way to get a lot of stuff done in game without having to mess around and just enhance the overall experience. All right, guys, I hope you have a great Friday night. We will catch you on the next one.